Hey seniors, class of 2020, welcome to this very unusual senior night. Every couple of years I get to teach electives to seniors and it always gives me great pleasure to reconnect in the classroom with the same kids that I had when they, when you were ninth graders. I could say something about all of you, but I'll use my time here to speak about the few of you I had in class this year. The other day Miss Bell shared with me a quote she heard from a critical care nurse in Ohio this person works on helicopter transports, and they said the best way to find yourself is to lose yourself in the service to others. That's pretty powerful advice. It speaks to me about a lot of you. Like Jade, you've been a role model in service in your work with elderly folks. You talk about them with such wonder and kindness. They were so lucky to have you at their service. Best wishes as you pursue your dream of working in pediatrics. And Maddie Swain, from your coaching, and your work at the rec, you already know you're great with kids. I know you'll be terrific in neonatal care, the field you wish to study in nursing school. Kateleen, you also intend to study to be a nurse. Having been a patient, I know one wants their nurse to be smart and competent. You'll bring these traits and the bonus of your kind smile and your wonderful wit. Bree, you're thinking about a pre-med program and then med school, and there's no reason you cannot take that dream all the way to completion and a lifetime of service to your patients. Jeffrey, you've spoken to me about going into the workforce at BIW. One can only imagine how they will use your creativity and your wisdom to serve their mission. Kayla, your dreams have transitioned to a career in equestrian science. The combination of your passion for horses and your kind and gentle spirit have me convinced that within a few years, you'll be running some equine therapy program and bringing confidence and joy to your clients. I can't see anything stopping you, Ellie, from, from your very well-articulated dream of serving in law enforcement. And I know you'll serve with honor and kindness and great dignity. Caitlin Long and Billy, you're both off to the University of Maine at Farmington to get your teaching credentials. I think this is a perfect choice for each of you. I know in five or six years you'll be loving the career and the kids will love learning from you. Noah, we don't have to look at the future to talk about your legacy of service. You worked your way through school digging clams, and digging, like farming, is probably the most backbreaking work that one can imagine. And it's the very foundation of the food system on which we all rely. I commend you for that, and I know that you'll bring that work ethic to whatever you do. Kara, you have your legacy of service here to our student body and you will transfer that ethic to your career as a physical therapist. Your future patients have so much to gain from your smarts and your competence and your gentle nature. Natalie, what can I say to a young person who already has credentials and the guts to grab the turnout gear and race to help those at their very worst moments? You wish to go into marine science and conservation at a time when the natural ecosystems are in peril. I take comfort in knowing that you will have a hand in saving us. Again, it's on from here to bigger and better things, kids. I'm wicked proud of you. I'll miss you, and I love you. Best wishes.